This video is on writing, solving, and graphing inequalities, part one. There will be a part two. Let's first review the symbols for inequalities. This is less than, this symbol is greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Now the way I remember this is if you actually take the less than sign and move the greater than sign, to a number line, it actually points in the directions that they're related to. So less than points towards the uh, lower numbers, greater than uh, points to the greater numbers. Solving inequalities, uh, the same steps are used as solving inequality. So on the left hand side, in the blue, we have an equation. Um, and on the right hand side, in the green, we have an inequality. And you'll see as we progress through the steps, we still do the same steps for each one. So the first step is going to be add 9 both sides. You end up with 2x on the left hand side, 10 on the right hand side. So you're going to divide both sides by 2. And the solution for both will be 5. Now the solution on the left hand side, the blue, will be 5. The solution on the right hand side is any number greater than 5. So let's go ahead and take our x value on the left hand side, the blue, and plug it in and make sure that our solution is correct. So we'll replace the x with 5. 2 times 5 is 10, minus 9, of course equals 1. So that statement is true. On the left hand side, we're going to replace x with a value greater than 5. And the number, a number that's greater than 5 is 6. So we'll go ahead and replace x with the value of 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Minus 9 is going to give us 3 is greater than 1. So there we've proved that that solution is correct. Now writing our inequalities, you're going to be looking for particular phrases. For less than, you'll have less than, fewer than, or up to. And that's the graphing symbol we're going to use. For greater than, we'll have greater than, more than, exceeds, or in excess of. And that's the symbol for our greater than for graphing. Notice both of those have open circles, so you're not including the number that is um, represented. And uh, we'll look at an example of that in just a moment. Uh, for less than or equal to, you may also have no more than or at most. And there's our symbol for graphing that solution. For greater than, we have greater than or equal to, no less than, at least. And that's our symbol for graphing that solution. Notice here we have closed circles, so you are including the number. All right, so let's look at two examples here. Um, the first one, the phrase we want to focus in on is at least. And because we're using that phrase, we're going to use the greater than or equal to. So here's our graph solution. n is greater than or equal to 6. The second one, our important phrase there, is up to. So we're going to use the less than sign. So a is less than 2. Here, because it's less than, we're going to use an open circle. So our solution cannot include 2. It's going to be anything less than 2. 